and then Pro Tools will permanently remove the files from disk, okay? Now, here's the trouble with choosing that delete option. Hey, Mike. You want to know what to do with all them extra clips and audio files in your clips list after the recording session is done? Well, let me show you something. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. And if you don't know yet, this channel is all about helping you to record and mix better and faster. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, man. Don't forget to also check out wavywayne.com because I have a bunch of recording and mixing templates that will help you get the sound that you're looking for. You feel me? So this video is going to be a quick one, man. It's a quick little tip on what to do with leftover clips in your clips lifts after this session is done recording. You don't know what I'm talking about? Well, let's take a look at this Pro Tools session. So after you get done recording in Pro Tools, you will have deleted some of the takes, you will be keeping some of the stuff, but that will end up with a clips list that is full of clutter and full of unused clips. So here's how I like to eliminate that. First thing first is if your clips list isn't showing, you need to make sure that you go ahead and show it. So if you go down to the bottom right hand corner and hit this little arrow, that's going to expand to show your clips list. You can bring your cursor to this little black line right here and then stretch this out or move it back and forth to actually resize the clips list. Now that we can see our clips list, we can see that, man, this is a lot of clips in our clips list. And honestly, most of the clips in the clips list are not even being used in our session because again, during the recorded session, we are doing multiple takes. We're saving some stuff, getting rid of some stuff, keeping what we want, deleting what we don't want. But even though we delete a clip or delete a track, all of those actual audio clips remain in our clips list. So how do we take care of that? There's a couple different ways to go about it. Here's one. One is to go up to the clips list drop down menu, choose to select unused. This will select all of the unused clips in the clips list. And like I said, most of the clips are not even being used, okay? So now that all of my unused clips are selected, I could then go back to the drop down menu and choose clear, all right? Now, this prompts us with a few different options that we really need to know and be careful on because you can make some huge mistakes, okay? You have the option to remove, move to trash, or permanently delete. It says that if you remove, that will remove the selected clips from this session. That simply means that these clips in our clips list will not be uh, shown in the clips list anymore. But the audio files that relate to those clips list that, that relate to those clips will still be stored in the audio files folder in the session folder that we created. So they're still going to be there on our drive in case we ever need to recover them if we choose remove. If you choose move to trash, then they basically gonna go ahead and move those track, those items, those uh, audio clip, those clips and audio files from the actual hard drive, wherever they're stored to your computer's recycling bin or trash can, all right? And then you have the option to delete them later permanently if you want to from that location. Or you can just go ahead and hit delete right off the jump and then Pro Tools will permanently remove the files from disk, okay? now. Here's the trouble with choosing that delete option is that if you by chance are sharing any of these audio files with another session on your Pro Tools uh, system, another Pro Tools session, anywhere, maybe even a Logic session, whatever it is, maybe I imported some samples uh, from my sample library pack into the session and then I just ended up not using some of the clips. Well, if I choose to permanently delete them, then Pro Tools will actually permanently delete those files um, and, and they won't be be able to be used anywhere. So again, if you have files that are shared from multiple sessions, multiple projects, do not delete anything. And honestly, it's probably best nowadays to just choose the remove option if you really want to clean up your clips list because um, hard drive space is cheap. You can buy another hard drive if they, if they start to fill up pretty quickly, but you don't want to make the catastrophic mistake of deleting files, especially if they are shared with other sessions. Trust me, I know I've been down this road before to where I thought I was doing myself a favor by going into the clips list and choosing to delete the files uh, to make the session files smaller. But what I actually did was did something 
that was dangerous. And I, I deleted files that were being used in another Pro Tools session. And I didn't realize it until days later or whatever. When I go to open up that other Pro Tools session, it's like, oh, man, those audio files were being shared between these two sessions. So definitely I wouldn't recommend deleting any more. I definitely always just say, you know what, if you want to clear up this clips list, let's just go ahead and hit remove. That will remove those uh, clips, unused clips from the clips list, but they will still be in the audio files folder on the drive in case you need to recover them for this session or use them for any other session that you need. If you like this tip and you want to get more in-depth education on Pro Tools software and actually become a Pro Tools certified user, check out wavywayne.com and sign up for my Pro Tools 101 and 110 certification course that will get you certified via Avid Pro Tools, the official way taught by your boy Wavy, all right? I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Hope you like this video. Be dope.